The Life and Sad Ending of Gillian Anderson Gillian Anderson was born Gillian Lee Anderson on August 9, 1968, in Chicago, Illinois, U.S. attended and graduated from City High School, Grand Rapids, Kent County, Michigan. She married her long-term boyfriend Julian Ozan in the resort town of Shella on Lamu Island, Kenya. As a teen, her favorite music bands included Skinny Puppy and Dead Kennedys. Gave birth to her first child at age 26, a daughter Piper Maru Klotz on September 25, 1994. The child's father is her first husband, Clyde Klotz. Gave birth to her second child at age 38, a son Oscar Griffiths on November 1, 2006. The child's father is her ex-boyfriend, Mark Griffiths. Gave birth to her third child at age 40, a son Felix Griffiths on October 15, 2008. The child's father is her ex-boyfriend, Mark Griffiths. Chosen by People magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. Says her favorite film is The Wrong Trousers. Was married to first husband Clyde Klotz on the 17th hole of a golf course in Hawaii by a Buddhist priest. She is described with hair as naturally blonde. It was dyed and styled into the famous bob by Malcolm Marsden, who was immortalized as the British Member of Parliament in the episode Fire. Daughter of Homer Edward Ed Anderson III, who owned a film post-production company, and wife Rosemary Posey Alice Lane, a computer analyst, she has a younger brother, Aaron Anderson, who suffers from neurofibromatosis for which she has done activist work to encourage government to increase funding for research, and a younger sister, Zoe Anderson. She was voted class clown, most bizarre girl and most likely to be arrested by her classmates in high school. In fact, she was arrested on graduation night for trying to glue the locks shut at her high school. Her parents left the United States of America with her and resided in London, Greater London, Middlesex, England, Great Britain, and Northern Ireland, from age 2 to age 11, then moved to Grand Rapids, Kent County, Michigan, where she was teased for her British accent. She also lived in Puerto Rico. She relocated to London, Greater London, Middlesex, England, Great Britain, and Northern Ireland, again, as an adult, in 2002, where she resides, lives, works extensively, and as an actress. Attended the Goodman Theatre School of Drama at DePaul University in Chicago, Illinois, where she earned her degree in fine arts. One of her classmates was Nina Samazka. Gained her first real break when she replaced Mary Louise Parker in the play The Philanthropist. Her daughter, Piper Maru, was the inspiration for the title of the X-Files episode introducing the famous Black Oil in the series. Engaged photojournalist Julian Ozan. The wedding was planned for September 2003 during a safari ceremony in Kenya but was delayed for over a year for fears of a terrorist attack. Received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6508 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, Los Angeles, Los Angeles County, California, on January 8, 2018. Gillian Anderson, There Were Times When Life Was Really Bad. The history of India's independence and the creation of Pakistan had been unfamiliar to Gillian Anderson when she took the role of Lady Mountbatten for her new film Viceroy's House. The actor had once hired a private history tutor, a dozen years ago, to fill in some gaps of history she was hazy on, stuff that just wasn't in my brain, but this had not been one of them. No, I thought let me start with a couple of things that I don't actually know that much about, or I can't remember that much about, which was the First and Second World Wars. She starts to laugh. But it was a disaster. Because I have no memory. I took notes, blah, 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 but couldn't remember a thing he taught me. Nothing. I'm not even sure. If you'd asked me the next day, I could have told you what I'd learned. You know, even my favorite books, I couldn't tell you what they were about. It's always been that way. The menopause hasn't helped, and lately, things have become so bad that she's going to get herself tested to see if she might actually be dyslexic. 
Somebody had said to me that dyslexia isn't just about seeing words backward, it's also about the assimilation of information. I'd always been afraid to look into it because I was afraid that if I found something out, I would think that I couldn't do anything that I wanted to do. I have this impression that I can do whatever I make up my mind to. But the reality is, she lets the sentence fall away with a grimace. That's what happened to her.